Plastic waste is a huge issue in the world, and in the hobby of 3D printing, where we're legitimately melting plastic into little trinkets, is no exception. And there are some companies who are starting to step up and take a challenge to help correct some of that. And one of those companies is Greengate 3D, who we had the pleasure of meeting when we took a trip to the Midwest RepRap Festival, or MRF. And when we talked to Richard, we got to learn a little bit more about the wide range of colors and a really unique twist that makes Greengate 3D's recycled PETG so special. Let's check out that interview. All right, guys, we're here with Richard from Greengate 3D, checking out some of their awesome filaments. Richard, how long have you guys been making filament? Uh, we started, the concept started in, I think, October 2018, and our first material was done sometime in, I think, September 19. Okay. And you guys work a lot with recycled filaments, right? Correct. So I've been in scrap plastics for 25 years. Universal Composites, the company that spawned this, we own that, uh, is 30 years old. We have a supply chain of recycled PETG right here that we convert into filament. So what happens is the manufacturer makes the film. They optically scan it. If there's any imperfections in it, like a pinhole, or it's not thick enough, it gets wrapped to the Greengate 3D pile. They'll pelletize for us where we make filament from it. That's the process. So you guys have a pretty reliable source of continuous PETG coming in. Correct. Right now I have about 60,000 pounds, which is a lot. Wow. And 20,000 should be by the end of this year. So I have plenty for the next couple of years. But, you know, when manufacturing says we have, you got to say, I'll take it. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So other than working a lot with the recycled filament, which is fantastic, there's something else that's special about your PETG. Right. Well, what we're happy about is you can use the drop-in for PLA. So this material will print from 205 to 250. So you can take the current PLA you're using, take it out of your printer, put hours back in, heat the bed to 85 to 90, and hit play, and you're set. It will work in PLA settings, no need to reslice. So how many colors do you guys have right now? As of now, we're at 30. This is our 30th color, sunset purple. Of all the goods we've had, we've never had an opaque purple. Probably had like eight translucent purples, but no opaque. So we made one. This is the first time was at this show. We sold, we just got it like four hours ago, it got delivered. Wow. We've already moved a bunch. That's fantastic. What's your most popular color? Purple rain is our most popular color. It's the most pricey, but it's one of one. Very, it's very difficult to make and there's no substitute for it. it. It's my favorite purple I've ever printed with. There, like you said, there's nothing like it. Thanks, Ren. Absolutely, buddy. Right. Richard, it was really nice to get to talk to you. How can the people find you? They can go to greengate3d.com on our website, Instagram, Twitter, or X. Um, and uh, I'm sure we're on some other pages too, Facebook, we're around. Fantastic. An American-made filament company that doesn't get much better than that. Thank you very much. Stay well. You too, brother. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. PETG at PLA Temps. Are you kidding me? These prints are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at the colors. This Purple Rain is by far my favorite purple filament that I've ever printed with. And this Emerald Green that Cameraman Bo purchased from Green Gate at Murph is an amazing color as well. If you want to help get involved in cutting down on some of the plastic waste that we have in the world, Check out Greengate 3D and support them by purchasing their filament and help cut back on the plastic waste and promote more recycled materials. I think what they're doing is fantastic and we'll definitely continue to pick up their PETG because it's genuinely good material. Special thanks to our level three channel members, Snail3D and Nathan Wolford. Your support goes a really long way for helping the channel. And if you wanna get involved and help the channel grow, be sure to like this video and share with a friend who might be into some recycled 3D printing filament. Thank you so much for watching our coverage from MRF 2024 and meeting Richard from Greengate 3D. We have more videos like this planned to share with you our experience in the future. So be sure to stay tuned and keep printing recycled filament.